Hello, and welcome your faces to a new series. This is going to be The Idiot's Guide 2. This episode will be episode 1, and it will be The Idiot's Guide to Yuli GIF Animator. So, you lead. Okay, so how this program works? You may ask, how does it... <coughs> How does this thing work? Well, you'll see in just a minute. It's going to load up a program. And you'll see a progress bar. First thing you'll guess, it think, is, oh my god, this is so confusing. The first thing you see, as soon as the progress bar finishes loading, is something called startup wizard now what this is is it gives you six main options of what you can do animation wizard is the quickest and the easiest way to do something so what i'm gonna see is i'm gonna go down to my intro that's not quite done so it's so 1366 by 768 so I just click cancel go back so 1366 crap 13 Six six. Okay. Seven sixty eight. Go next. Add image. And I'll look for my intro folder again. See that's the correct number. I'll just select all and I'll open it. I'll click next. Now here basically is how fast you want your intro to run at or your animation so preferably set at 15 for an intro and the numbers show you how fast it's running at this is your delay in in one one hundredth of a second so you click next and it says click finish to process animation It'll load the frames and simply it'll get give you this now you can edit it don't don't get your heart in your throat about this now you click play I'll do this this is your animation now what you can do <coughs> Set it back at frame one, and you can edit it, basically. But here is where I want to actually do the editing. 3D, gate 3D, what's this? You'll look, I will show you a little preview of what you're trying to add. It's all different video effects. slide stretch there's many different options <coughs> zoom motion let's see let's see what happens here Now let's click OK and it'll add your new frames. So first we move back to our first frame. Big deal, right? Let's click it and it'll zoom out. And basically what this does is it gives you <coughs> D 
get back. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Um, it will give you the effect in frames. And basically, this is how every camera works. This is how every cartoon works. This is how everything works. In video. And now you can change anything you want. Now I want to make this white, so I have no clue how to do that. Well, what you do is you want, like this isn't a tutorial for it in general, but this is what you could do, or something like this. So. Uh, this is just a particular project I'm doing. Now only takes JPEG, be warned. So you want to go save as in JPEG and just go down to your intro folder. Then let's see. White. And here you see is that frame, that video. Now you can add a video and have it break down into just random frames. That's what I was looking for. Open image. Oh crap, cancel. Add image. And click your new image. Now fit it on directly centered. Now you'll see what happened is. <coughs> now it jumps too much. So say I want to add a fade effect let's see what we can do with transparency on this one can adjust your transparency so let's see what happens here Okay, so nothing special. So let's start blanking it out further on back in the scene. So 25. Okay, so 19. Let's see. Okay. 22. Let's go here, go to 25, 50, 75. Oh, okay, I see what I'm doing. Sorry about these problems here. Okay, um, edit, undo, sorry, but this, Okay, so this one we're gonna set to 50. I'm gonna move back here. I'm gonna click.
25. What? Oh, okay. Oh, I'll remove that. Okay, so 2550. Sorry about this confusion. Now let's see how our animation is going. So I like that. But what I want to do here is I'll make sure that the background <coughs> will always be white. Excuse me. What you can save it as GIF UJ UFO PSD image frames or video file or multimedia flash. I'll click video. Now save it as vid1 and we'll see what it turns out like. So I'll go to intro. Let's look <coughs> for the folder. <coughs> God damn Let's see Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so we'll keep that. And, yeah. Basically, thanks for watching this Idiot's Guide 2 tutorial video. And I'll see you next time. See you later.